Hi guys, how are you? I know, did you see that thumbnail? Why do we wait until we have issues before we do the right thing? Oh my goodness. Yeah, so what's this really all about? Well, I'm really hoping that some of you will join me. So if this is gonna be kind of a, like a challenge between whoever decides to join me, but I need to do something. And I think it's probably something that we all have addressed at some point in our lives. But for me, it seems like I'm addressing it all the time. It's something that I've struggled with since my first baby, and that would be 46 years ago. So oh, I need to get better at it because it's affecting my life. Okay, so for those of you that my regular subscribers, thanks guys, I'm really glad you're here, and I hope you will stay to the very end because I'm gonna share something with you at the very end. A little surprise, a Christmas surprise. Okay. Um, this is what's been happening. Some of you, oh, and my new sis, if you're new to my channel, sorry guys. <laughs> uh, thank you for being here. I really hope that you will subscribe. Just click that subscribe button, ring the bell, a like, comment. Thank you very much. It really, it's free and it really helps my channel and I really appreciate that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> anyway, so what's this all about? Well, it's, as a lot of you know, I have osteoarthritis and it's really been bothering me a lot more than it ever has because we're not down south, we're not in the warm weather, we're in the damp weather in Vancouver where it rains all of the time. And uh, But having said that, um, I need to take some responsibility for what's going on as well because when you have osteoarthritis and when you have inflammation of the joints, it's not just where you live, it's also what you're doing. And what you're doing in two ways that are very obvious for myself is what I'm putting in my mouth, what I'm eating and lack of exercise. And that has to stop and it has to change. So this, I'm really hoping a couple of you gals will join me. And I promise I, and I won't be on your case or anything like that, but I think it would be really fun to put some guidelines out there for ourselves and share them, share them in the comments. And then of course I'll share them on YouTube and hopefully we can all achieve something to move ourselves forward. You know, I get so many compliments all the time. They go, wow, I never thought, in fact, yesterday twice. And then it's not like, it's just really nice to get compliments when people say, you don't look like you're 71. Oh my gosh, I never would have thought that. Well, if I keep going the way I'm going, I'm going to age myself very, very quickly. quickly. And it's not that I look all that young or anything like that. For me, it's my attitude. And if I don't get a hold of what my issue is, my attitude is going to change because I'm going to be very unhappy. So I'm going to share something with you guys. And Bill said, no, you're not. And I said, yes, I am, because I think being honest and forthright is, um, is what you do in order to get people to join you and be part of what you're doing. I do that anyway. I'm very outspoken, as you know, and I really like truth. So I am. 211 pounds. Well, what can I say? 211 pounds. Yeah, you know what? It just needs to kind of, for my health. And of course, for these knees, I need to do it. I need to do it. Can I do it? Of course I can. Okay. I gotta start. I can't. I'm undecided. Fasting, the you know, like that midnight thing, or eight hours of not eating, or am I going to get my mouth stitched? <laughs> okay. Yep. I am. I would love to fib to you, but I have. You know, if we're going to do this, I'm going to have to be honest. Now, having said that, I am five nine. I'm tall. My comfortable weight is about 175, 170, 175 in there. That puts me, depending on who's made the clothes, puts me in a 12 or 14 very comfortably. So what changes am I going to make? And right now, actually, you guys, I'm in a 16. Dep again, depending who, who, you know, what the line is of clothing, if it's cheap clothing, 
um, you know, then I need extra, extra, extra large. And if it's a good make, like if I'm buying like a Ralph Lauren or a Jones in New York, or then, you know, I'm really comfortable in a 16. But I need to change that and I need to change it because of my, the inflammation in my joints. It started off in my knees, started off in my hips, or then my hips next in my thumbs and my hands. Now I've got my shoulders going on as well. And I just refuse at this point to go in for any more surgeries. I have done that. Uh, you, I'll put, I'll link that playlist, what happened in my surgeries and um, good, you know, good stuff to know. But I've decided that a lot of my problems that I'm having are really self-inflicted. I have a control over a lot of things that I'm doing that's adding to my problem. So, you know, it's the old thing, right? This happens so often. If you go to the doctor and all of a sudden, you know, we wait, like gives us the most horrible news about something that like an illness or whatever. And then we all, you know, rush home, see it all the time, we rush home. And all of a sudden we start doing research and start doing all the right things so we can get healthy. Well, instead of just getting healthy, why don't we say, hey, you know what? This is not a big issue in my life right now, but why don't I do all the right things to, you know, to stay really healthy? And one thing about retirement and getting older and enjoying life is being healthy. Healthy is most of it. I say it all the time. All the money in the world, if you're not healthy, it just isn't any fun. I'd like all the money in the world as well, of course. Okay, so... What I, this is what I've decided to do. I'm going to do the intermittent lifestyle. I'm not going to use the word diet. The diets drive me crazy. I'm dieting all my life and they never work. Weight Watchers was the best, but I'm going to do the intermittent. And still struggling with it a little bit because I haven't got myself right quite on the schedule. Like, you know, you're done at six o'clock and then you're not back on again till you're 16 hours later. But I'm getting better at it. I've been doing it <laughs> for four days. <laughs> okay. And then the other thing is, of course, inflammation, right? And it's a huge thing. A lot of this stuff I know. You know what? For I don't know how long I was making my own bone broth. Everything kind of fell apart last year. So I need to go and make my own bone broth. It's too expensive to buy. And... I need to have buckets and bags of it because I will drink it because I need a healthy gut. So I need to get back to that. I need to get back. I've printed actually everything off. I mean, these are things we don't need a doctor to tell us. It's common sense, you know, whether the more natural inflammatory foods and spices, you can print them off on the computer. So I will keep these close to my fridge. So, ladies, guys, whoever, I've come clean. 211 pounds. I can't believe I'm sharing this on YouTube, but it's true. And I love to look attractive and I love to look pretty, but more than anything, I like to be healthy and enjoy my life and my family and my grandkids and all of that. So I need to do it. Who's going to join me? If you're not comfortable putting your weight down below, then just tell us how many pounds you want to lose. And what works for me may not necessarily work for you. So, you know, share with us. Are you going to do Weight Watchers? Are you going to, um, was it New Me or what? That one's going on. That one's going on out there. It's online. Um, some people like the Mediterranean diet, which also looks really attractive to me. I, you know, I love those kinds of foods. But right now, I just really need to focus on anything that is anti-inflammatory. I need to start lifting weights again because these arms are like jellyfish. We can't see my little bit of a muscle that I have, but they're like jellyfish right now. I'm going to uh, try to look for a trainer but I want a sports trainer. I want somebody that is very, very well versed with implants and can recognize um, some of my limitations that I may have, but 
work with me that know that those over time will no longer be a limitation because I mean, there's people out there skiing with all kinds of knee replacements or whatever. It's I, like I had a botched one and that kind of just messed everything up. But you know what? Determination. Okay, guys. So this is kind of, I know, a weird video, right? Can you believe that? 211 pounds. Oh, I used to say the heaviest I ever was is when I was pregnant with my first one. That went, Well, that's 46 years ago. I was nine, 191 pounds. And I was like, that was, oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. I was 110 pounds when I got pregnant. Anyway, this happens to us. And you know what? It, my health is important to me. Okay, guys. So put down below, you're on board. Our, you have, don't need to lose any weight. Thank you very much. You can just cheer us on. And those of you who are going to participate, we will check in. Let's say, shall we do every week? Should we do a video every week just to check in? Or do you need two weeks? I think every week. So we stay account, somewhat accountable. So every week we're going to check in. I will bring my scale. Okay. I will stand on my scale I know I'm not going to cheat because if I cheat, I'm only cheating myself if I do. Okay, guys. So with no further ado, yes, we're going to do this because you know what? First of all, it'll be great at Christmas to have lost some extra pounds and to have a little bit more leverage. And we are going to, there is nothing uh, more exciting than to be make, being in charge of our health making sure that our bodies have an opportunity to heal and be strong. And don't wait till you're 71. This, this, this you need to do when you're 40 or even whenever, like do it as soon as you possibly can. Okay. Now, what am I going to share with you? I'm going to give you a little bit of Christmas, what I'm doing for decorations. So I'm just going to give you one little project at the end of each video. Okay, guys, see you later. Never say never. Life is short. Go live it.